We have two special individuals in our community. We know both of them very well. But they're here to talk about the exciting undertaking of Renaissance Unity. And I'm with them. They tell me to jump to the moon, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Reverend Anisha and Steve. about that. Today is the day I talk about the heart. And I wanted to share just briefly, and then I want to turn it over to Steve, who is our captain this year um, for the Heart Walk. Our walk's name is Hearts of Unity. And so I'm going to let share, Steve share a little bit more about that. But the question that we always want to ask is, what is your why? And there are so many different whys. Why do we do what we do? Why are we going to get up on June 8th and walk? Why are we going to donate? I have many whys, but more recently, last year, on Mother's Day, my sister died of a stroke. 80% of all heart disease is preventable. Just a week beforehand, she was having a conversation with my sister about not feeling well. Have those conversations. If we had more of those conversations with her, maybe I wouldn't be having this story to share today. So just remember that 80% of all heart disease is preventable. But when it can't be, there are so many resources that we have, and that is a why. Steve, your why? Reverend Glenn, I better get my ask together on this. <laughs> Hi, y'all. I am a survivor. Some of you know that, some of you do not, but I am a survivor. And heart disease is the number one killer of all of us, all of us in the United States. Number five. Stroke, number five. I've had both of those. I'm here. I'm not alone. I see you, John. So what is the Metro Detroit Heart and Stroke Walk all about? Well, this is a great opportunity for you to take some time and learn a little bit about those things that can not only help yourselves, but help others too. You'll learn something about a CPR. Some of you may have heard that song by the Bee Gees, Staying Alive. You're gonna learn what staying alive can really mean when somebody is going through a heart attack and what you can do about it. Over the next few weeks, you're going to learn a little bit from both Anisha and myself about things in terms of stroke. What are the signs of a stroke? What does fast mean? We're going to tell you a little bit about that. So why do you want to come and spend a beautiful Sunday morning in June out to a walk? Well, first of all, it's healthy. We all can use a little 5K health, can't we? Can't we? Okay. But it's more than that. It's your chance to find out a little bit about CPR, about stroke, about communicating with one another. Those people that we love in our lives, could we have made a difference in their lives? Yes, we could have if we had only known. This is your opportunity to learn a little bit about that on a Sunday morning. June 8th, Saturday, on the campus of Wayne State University. 
Mine too. All right. So with that in mind, we're going to be at the tables out there, and we're going to look for some people that can reach out. Now, is there a cost involved in this? No. It's absolutely free. It is absolutely free to, to participate in the heart walk. So that's not going to be an issue. That's not going to hold you back. Nothing will hold you back except yourselves. And we do want you to learn these things. We want you to have a heart. We want you to protect the hearts of those that you care so, so deeply about. And that's what we're going to ask you. Maybe it's your time that you can give us. And that time is going to be well spent because it's going to help yourself. Maybe it's your talent. And I know some of you have some talent out there that you can bring to this art walk. And you share with others. And of course, we're going to ask for some treasure too. You know, the American Heart Association does a tremendous amount of work in this community and all through the United States. And they're celebrating their 100th year. How about that? So, please, take the time, whether it's time, talent, treasure. We would love to see that opportunity. Please join Anisha, Joy, or myself at the counter out there. I would be so glad you did. Thank you so much. Thank you.